Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to our newest listing. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link, right there is my QR code. You can scan it with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to my free app. You'll get homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, we are all the way up in the north east we're right by the 215 if you know where that is it is north las vegas but we are so far north you can see we are way way up here by the mountains it is pretty up here this home is a less than a year old right here we are looking at a town home today it does have the two-car garage this is going to be 1399 square feet three bed two and a half bath it's pretty sweet. Now we haven't quite yet set on or settled on a price yet. We're still figuring that out. It's going to be coming on the market this weekend. So you do have two, maybe three days if you want to get in before we put it on the market. We're thinking somewhere a little bit below $380,000. So if you have questions, again, all my info down below. If you could do me a huge favor and make sure to hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. I know I have been absent for a little while. I am back. I'm doing tours again. And if you are enjoying these, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. So coming on in, we are right here, unit 102. I do like these. I remember I actually filmed these units not that long ago. It's funny seeing them now all done. So let me just close the door. We have living, dining, kitchen. Before we check out the kitchen, I know I always like to save it for last. We'll go ahead and head up upstairs. But before we even do that, let's go take a look at the backyard. Again, one of the nicest things about buying a resale is your backyard is done. Normally when you buy brand new, you have to consider the cost of a backyard. Now, these lots aren't massive. Again, a normal backyard is gonna be somewhere between 20 and $25,000 to complete it. But with this, it's all done. I do like all the synthetic grass. There's our gate. Nice spot back here. Coming back into the home. Give you a pan so we can see everything. It's cozy, I do like it. And this home, they just closed on it in November. So it is basically new. We'll go ahead and check out the downstairs bath, the powder room. But let's go ahead and head on upstairs. So heading upstairs, we do have three bedrooms up there, as well as the shared bath and the primary bathroom. So up to the top, we'll start right here on our first bathroom. I love the colors that were picked. Now I know with this builder, I believe it's a DR Horton if I remember correctly, they spec everything out, so you don't really get an option to pick what, but they do have this really nice gray cabinetry, over-mounted sink. And I know I always joke about the medicine cabinet. Spinning around, there's a lot of room in this bathroom. We have our toilet. You can see there's like almost two feet to the tub. Right here we have our fiberglass composite tub, our shower head. I know I always talk about it, but we do have a lot of new followers. One of the nice things about the composite is it's easier to clean. If you have tile, you have grout lines, and I don't know about you, it is nice having tile, but it's not always nice cleaning tile. Spinning around, right here, we have our linens. There are people still living here, so I'm not gonna be opening up. It's gonna be a typical five shelf linen closet. Right here we have our first bedroom. And it's nice with how high the ceilings are in here. It makes the room feel even bigger. This is a pretty good sized bed. You can see with the posts and everything, it's pretty big. Let's sneak over here so I can show you the whole room. We have a little nightstand and there's even room to walk on the side. We have our dresser. I do like this model a lot. I remember touring it and showing it to some buyers. We have our closet now. That's just going to be a standard closet. Single barn shelf. One thing you can always do is usually it's like right here. 
You can move that bar and shelf up, add a second one, and you literally double your closet space. Coming back and out, we have a second linen closet, which is really nice. Or I believe actually this one was the water heater. Yep. So we have our water heater right here. And if we spin back around, we get into our second bedroom. Obviously they're using it as an office space right now. It is very similar size to the first bedroom. We have our same closet as in the first bedroom. So if you wanna do an office space, you have the ability to do that. If you need the second bedroom, you can do that as well. A lot of different options. I know a lot of people like to make one even like a workout room. I've seen a lot of homes that put the stationary bike or whatnot, especially nowadays. Some people are still not wanting to go out and about. Master primary suite. That's a king size bed. You can even see how wide it is. It's a pretty good size doggy crate. And we have another nightstand. There's a lot of room in this suite. We have our closet. Coming around, you can see we have a dresser. And even room for a little mirror here. Now, one thing you could have done in the other bedrooms, a lot of people like the ceiling fans. You can always change those out. I like them personally just because during the summer when it does get warm, you can just turn that on at night and not have to crank the AC. Coming into our master bath, we have the exact same stone and cabinets as down below, same sinks. And it is so nice and bright in here. Now I forget, I'm not gonna show it on camera just because I know there are people here. It is a standard slider. And let's see if the are actually soft closing drawers. So that's a nice thing to know. They do have the laminate going in the bathroom. Right here we have our toilet. And one thing that I love about this is the door actually opens out. A lot of times it'll open in and you get trapped in there and it is no fun whatsoever. If we spin around some more we get to our shower. Nice size shower, walk in, you even have a ledge right here and a ledge right here for soaps and shampoos and then you have your shower head nice and up high. And we do have, I always joke about our Vegas windows. The nice thing about this one is there's not really a window directly across, but even with some window treatments, it hides everything. I know some of the builders like to put a window like directly across with the neighbor, which I always find amusing. Ooh, it is pretty. There are so many mountains up here. Again, we are way up. I wouldn't call it Northeast. We're just way up in the North on the other side of the 215. Coming on out and around. Now again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. All my contact info is down below and make sure to hit the subscribe button really helps the channel out. So coming down, right back down to the main living space. Again, we have our living room, dining. One thing to note, if you want to put a ceiling fan or another light above the coffee table, you do have the ability to do so. That is a big TV. It looks like a 65 inch, but I mean, you could see how big that wall is. You could even go bigger. Coming on over just so you can see the entire layout. Let me know what you think. Do you like the stairs here? I kind of do because it gives a little bit of division, but it still feels very, very open. We even have our dining table easily fit six. They could even pull it this way if they wanted to. There's a lot of space here. There's easily five feet. Heading down right here, we have our powder room. So pedestal sink, we'll come on in real quick just to show you. I will be honest, the ceiling feels a little low in here, but since it's so bright, it doesn't feel cave-like or anything. I know I've shown other ones where it's almost claustrophobic, but not the case here. We do have a toilet right here. This is actually a really nice size powder room. It's pretty big. Right here, we are going to have our coat closet. Again, I'm not gonna open up all these closets just because they are still living here. That leads us to our two car garage. We have washer and dryer, and I love this. They put this shelving in, but they did all the shiplap behind it. It feels really 
homie. Spinning back and around, let's go check out that kitchen. Coming around and into the kitchen, we do have an overhang right here for a couple bar stools. You'd really only want to put two. I guess you could technically put more back there, but it's just going to get so narrow really quickly. There's a lot of space right here. You feel like you can even do another little bench right here and put two more chairs under it. This is very, very open. You could do a computer desk or if you want to even do some shelving. There's a lot of space in this kitchen. You can almost even put like a second pantry here. We have a big window. We do have our pantry. It's going to be that standard size with five shelves. And we have our cabinets. So it appears 40 inch uppers. We have our built in microwave. It looks like it does vent outside. I always like to check. And does it? <laughs> no, so this is gonna be recirculating. And then we have our five burner cooktop. There is a lot of counter space in here. I love it, especially this little espresso nook right here. Spinning around. We have plenty of more cabinets. And again, these are gonna be soft closed cabinets. We have our dishwasher, good part of the peninsula right here. And then we have our undermounted stainless steel sink. We have our filtration system for our water. So this is gonna be our reverse osmosis. It's basically drinking bottled water. There's your view. I do like this layout, because even if you're standing right here at the kitchen sink, you basically could see everything. Let me know about the stairs. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on this. Let me know if this is your style of home. Do you like this idea? It does feel pretty big for 1,400 square feet. I like it, I like it a lot actually. Again, we don't have everything finalized. This will probably be going on the market either Friday or Saturday. So if you wanna get info before then, if you wanna get into this one beforehand, let me know. Again, all my contact info is down in the description below. Love to help you out in any way possible. Again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps the channel out. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.